Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back with another video. This time we're talking about the lackluster married to medicine. I just feel like they haven't really tried this season at all. And so many people feel the same way. The ratings continue to drop. I don't think Phaedra's bringing her A game. I don't know if maybe she's saving it to go on to another show. Hopefully she can transfer over to Real Housewives of Atlanta. But once we have Phaedra over on Housewives of Atlanta, what's Married to Medicine going to do? Because I feel like Heavenly's been carrying the entire show for the past three seasons. She's clearly the star of the show. You know, Quad's gone, so they made a big mistake with that. I just feel like they're coming up with anything they can talk about just to fill episodes up. This most recent episode, I would say, that aired on Sunday was more like a filler episode. Oh, by the way, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Definitely appreciate the love here at the Tate Ramon panel. But listen, when Alicia's sitting there going off on Toya, talking about your husband doesn't know how to control you, then backpedals and says, well, a husband should be able to temper his wife. Eugene has no ability, even if he wanted to, to tame or temper or control Toya. That's why he says, I don't want to control her. I remember that vacation they went on and Toya said, boy, you better put that biscuit in your mouth. <laughs> that was the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen Toya say to Eugene. And he sat there and took it because he really doesn't stand up for himself. That's just my opinion. He's a good guy from what I could see on TV. But Eugene really doesn't stick up. with him. He lets Toya walk all over him. But, I mean, that's what you're going to get. But I feel like. Alicia's just really trying to find her way in the group, get any kind of moment in that she can to get some camera time or feel relevant. She's, you know, basing her whole marriage or basically what she's presented on how she's such a good wife and she's submissive and all this to her husband, you know, but I feel like Heavenly already plays that role. It's like, Find your own individual storyline because I, you know, I really don't see anything that you're bringing to the table. Um, I, I really don't care if she doesn't come back next year. I mean, I, she's dead weight to me. Um, I, I kind of feel like all the new cast members always try to get into some type of argument with the new, the new cast members, I'm sorry try to get to some type of argument with the seasoned cast members. And it just seems like it's the smallest things that they try to pick a fight over, but then it's like, okay, look, y'all just trying to find any old thing. This looks fake. Yeah, I mean, even the thing with Buffy, yeah, Dr. Jackie was, was wrong for bringing up Buffy, for sure and her infertility but it's like that cannot be your, the rest of your storyline i mean buffy she was cool but it's like okay let it go i mean because you basically told everyone on tv about your situation so it's like that was what you was running with anyway i think she's just mad that she didn't get a, a chance to come back the next season but you know I could kill us for, for Buffy. I could kill us for Alicia. Um, remind me, y'all, what was the girl's name who uh, was always wearing that champion outfit? And uh, what was it? Toya was talking about her? And they got into a fight at uh, Quad's house. <laughs> I forget her name. I start with an R. I forget her name. Um, anyway, she was good. I feel like she added some type of dynamic. She was a real estate attorney. Um, oh, I, got, I don't know why. I can't. I'm drawing a blank. She was a real estate attorney and pulled up all of Toya's receipts. 
And, you know, this life that Toya's living and trying to exude this big ass closet she's got two stories they sold it i mean but i guess it's because they had to because they had a mountain load of debt you know hey i'm not knowing to judge about how anyone lives and what they got going on but if you got you know your own finances jacked up don't be talking about nobody's fashion choices i mean make sure your house is in order and your finances are order before you talk about someone's fashion choices but i guess because uh, she had a baby, the real estate attorney. I guess that's why she didn't come back. Uh, well, maybe she wasn't offered a, a spot back. Who knows? But listen, let's talk about Dr. Jackie and Sweet Tea, Letitia. <sighs> I don't know if she has a little tick because she be having these little tantrums that she goes on. I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like she's got like some type of bipolar disorder or something like that. Because, you know, when she was at the uh, bachelorette party and her sister was trying to talk to her about something, she just went off on her sister, then came back and then calmed down. I'm like, oh, okay, everything's okay. Like, then next thing you know, she's going off on Jackie. Like, okay. I mean, not saying that Jackie did not warrant it, you know, but it was like so out of the blue, like almost like a crazy psychotic person. And then this episode, just like y'all tiptoeing over to her, telling her, oh, this is the time that you should talk to Jackie, apologize. Then it's like the camera follows her over there to sit down and talk to Jackie. This is like, what else do y'all have going on? It's like when when Heavenly cusses y'all out, y'all sit there and take it or y'all say something back. But when Letitia go off, y'all just let her do any old thing. And then, oh, I'm sorry. When Quad go off, y'all go toe to toe. When Mariah was going off, y'all go toe to toe. But I think they know that maybe she has a tick. Maybe they don't want to mess with her because maybe she's crazy, you know, but it's like, I don't know. It's just like these storylines are just so dry. And I think it's only a couple more episodes before they go off the air. They're about to go off the air. And it's like, okay, you know, what do y'all have for us? Because this reunion better be something that we deserve. Because y'all have been lackluster all season. All season, y'all been lackluster, not bringing anything. You know, Phaedra, it's nice to see her on TV with her little quirky moments and her little expressions and her fashions. Yeah, but it's like, okay, what more? We really aren't seeing anything. And, you know, it's left more to be hoped for. Left, left, um, much to be desired is what I should say. But anyway, make sure y'all like and subscribe to this channel. Definitely, uh, definitely would appreciate the love. But let me know what y'all think about this season of Marriage and Medicine.